Hey, hey, welcome back to Jasmine Figures It Out. And today I am going to discuss four instances in which you should consider recalibrating your friendships. And how I got to this topic is, actually, let me back up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you've watched my videos before, please show some love and like, comment, share, engage. I am trying to grow this channel, shameless plug. All right, back into it. Um, so how I got to this topic is this is something I am walking through right now. Much like actually all my videos, <laughs> that's literally why the channel is called Jasmine Figures It Out. It's really just about everything I'm figuring out in life period. So recently I have gone through a lot of change over the last two years and that came with a lot of growth, emotional growth, spiritual growth, financial growth. Uh, I bought a house, just a lot of, a lot of things. And I'm, I'm happy about it. I really am. I'm not going to sit here in false pride and act like I'm not happy and proud of myself. <laughs> and the amount of work I've done to get here, how hard I've worked and all of the challenges and changes I've been through, I am very proud of myself. So what is happening in my life now is I am finding that there are some friendships that I developed during, there were friendships before the change, during the change, and I'm starting to make new connections after the change. And there are friendships that I made during the change that were so dear to my heart and special to me. However, now where I'm at, I'm seeing that the closeness that I had with those, those, some of those people isn't going to be the same closeness in my next season. And this, and that's been those relationships have been the ones that are the hardest to accept that the, the positioning of them in my life is going to change because I don't think I've experienced this before because I've never attempted to have such a radical change in my life. I've never radically changed my attitude towards myself, other people, and life in general and my spirituality. So to have those friendships that helped me during this growth have to change now that I'm here and going on is, it's, it's different. It's kind of hitting different. So, I mean, I have experienced, and I know a lot of people have experienced those seasons where you do something different and there's people in your life who are just going to kind of stay doing the same thing and they naturally just kind of dwindle into a different position in your life and that's a little bit that's easier to accept than this type of repositioning and so that's what brought me to this topic. And um, so I'm going to talk about the four times in your life that you should consider recalibrating your friendships. And, you know, recalibrating. Calibrating is to adjust. Recalibrating is to readjust. And... I'm learning that this is something that is going to be 
a consistent thing. As you evolve and grow in life, you're going to frequently be repositioning people. And that doesn't mean that those people aren't special and that you don't love them dearly and uh, and that you just cut them off, right? That's like the immature thing to do. And that's something I used to do back in my emotional immaturity. But it means that these relationships are not conducive to where you're headed in your spiritual journey. And they can either interfere with or stall that growth. And it's necessary to guard your heart and guard your ears so that you can continue. And so sometimes it just means that you change the way in which they are involved in your life so that you can guard yourself and and protect the relationship ultimately and ha- still be able to maintain some relationship and sometimes these things can like change frequently with the same person so all right so i'm gonna get into number one and i kind of alluded to this already this is the one i'm looking i'm dealing with now when you you are changing in your season when your season is changing and the person their attitude or their message doesn't fit with the season you're stepping into and so that's kind of rough right um yeah so you're they they okay i'll be a little bit more specific so the perhaps the person met you at a at a broken place and they helped you through your transition and your growth and they've been there but now that you're coming out of this brokenness and you're stepping into your purpose your confidence you're stepping into where you were where you were trying to go is actually happening you're seeing the fruit of the work you've done and this person ha- maybe they have a hard time seeing you that way because they're used to you being broken maybe when you met this person because they even especially if they were someone who helped you through it not someone that was there before but like they came into your life as a friend like fully knowing like that their role in your life is to help build you to a level like say a spiritual level or emotional level that they they have more experience in something than you do and you're trying to get there and they're helping you through that and so sometimes what happens when you meet people in that way is in their head they they see themselves as for lack of better words maybe better than you or above you and they need to continue to see that for themselves and maybe not that and i want to make this clear it's not that relationships can't be tiered like there's going to be relationships in your life where someone always has an amount of experience more than you and that's the nature of a relationship and you have to have the maturity to accept that tiered relationship so it's not that you can't have a tiered relationship as you continue to grow but there may be people in your life who it within that tiered relationship within their own life they struggle with their position 
and they have that struggle within themselves. So when they meet people or they are drawn to people who they feel they have a um, their purpose in that that relationship or that friendship is to like kind of mentor over them or however you want to call it. And because they may have some type of insecurity, I don't know what it is, what it is. I'm not going to put it on. I'm just going to say um, they have a difficult time with your growth in the sense of they feel the need to put fear, doubt, or maybe try to bring, start bringing you down in little subtle ways. And that could be a reason to like reposition that person. Because maybe that's not someone that you can continue to grow with as you're growing. So, and maybe the thing is, is that those friendships and relationships will work if both are growing. Um, and there's that security and confidence with the other person. So it doesn't become a need where that they feel they got to put you like be constantly pushing you down. It's just, uh, it's difficult to continue to be friends with someone who can't see you for who you've you are becoming now. They don't they only want to have you in one snapshot of who you are. And if you're not fitting in that snapshot, then they have a very difficult time interacting with you appropriately. Ah, there it is. That's what it is. That's that's what it is. I said it. So that's a time that you may need to readjust that person's position in your life because that's not going to be helpful for you going forward because i mean we all need friends who are going to motivate encourage us not saying that we don't want someone to tell us the truth but say tell us the truth when it's necessary kind when it's helpful but saying little things just to uh bring someone down or maybe hurt them their feelings or feeling like it's your job to right size someone is not uh it's not it's not a, a useful dynamic between people and that's and if that's happening then yeah that would be a, a time to to decide like hmm maybe i'm going to reposition this person in my life Maybe I don't confide as much in them as I used to. Maybe this person isn't going to know so much about what's going on with me, my personal stuff, because if they start to use that stuff to kind of try to throw little shade your way and that person never really did that before, it might not be a good fit going forward into your next season. Another thing is sometimes it's not even that person is uh, hurting you or, or, or maybe even jealous. It's not even that that person is uh, not, it's not even that that person needs to put you down or keep you beneath them or at or at a, a certain level or doesn't see you properly, but that person's attitude and message isn't right for your next season. Like, for example, there are people like, okay, so I'll just say like your realist friend. Let's say you have like a realist friend who always has to like keep uh, their messages um balance which it's not like a bad thing it's always like um yeah you're gonna have good days but then there's a bad day is gonna come like the the person who always has to to identify the darkness in everything and in every season um that per that friendship is valuable 
at times during certain seasons, but that you may be walking into a season in your life where you, the people who you have closest to you, the people who you are uh, speaking to a lot are people who have a message of encouragement, a message of how, uh, how, how big God is, not people who have a message of how, uh, how, how manipulative and sneaky and cunning and dangerous the devil is. Like, if you get what I'm saying, like, sometimes there are times in your life where there are people who have a message or an attitude that just does not fit with where you're at and your current season because it can be harmful, it can be um, discouraging, and it prevents you from continuing to grow. And I'm not saying that you should just keep the same type of person around you all the time because you only want to hear the good. That is not at all what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that sometimes we have a responsibility to ourselves to adjust and recalibrate people's positions in our life to guard our assignment and mission and purpose so that we keep going. And sometimes it's not even that person's attitude and message it's their delivery of the message it is not something that's going to be helpful and useful for you. Maybe you still need to hear that message. You still need to have that, that attitude of it in your life because it is helpful. It does keep you balanced and right size, but you need it from someone who's going to deliver it in a way that suits where you're at who you are, where you're going so that you can receive it. Because sometimes people have the right attitude and the right message, but it's not delivered in a way that you can receive it. And so I'm trying so hard to say this without being judgmental or biased or saying that the, the, that these people are wrong in their attitude and, and message, but sometimes they are. I'm just going to be honest. Sometimes it's not just a, a neutral thing. It's um, a growth thing. Sometimes other people in your life need to grow in certain areas. And until they do, it's not someone that you can continue to walk closely with because their lack of growth in those areas are harmful to you. So that's one example. Another example, another time is when someone in your life is stepping into a season or in a season and you're not going to be helpful to them. And your message and your journey is going to kind of clash with their season. And I'm not saying that to be a fair weather friend, this could be like someone who's going into a great season <laughs> and you know that you're like walking through some stuff that you don't want to disrupt where they're going. Like you don't want to hurt their shine, you know? So it's like, it's not about being fair weather and it's not about cutting people off. It's just about recalibrating, adjusting the interaction, adjusting, um, the position in their life, in your life. Like I'm not talking about getting rid of people or throwing relationships away. I'm talking about adjusting, adjusting so that you're healthy and sound and you're continuing on your path. And so are they. So sometimes it's necessary to see when someone, and, and there could be times when someone's walking through a season that maybe you don't agree with the decisions they're making and what they're doing and um and you can lovingly you know as a friend try to help them or protect them but you can only do some so much and say so much and sometimes people need to live experiences that get them 
to the next level and to their growth and into their purpose. Like some people have to have those experiences. I know I did. And nobody, nobody was able to talk any sense into me. I had to live my experiences in order to get fall into who I'm supposed to be doing and who I'm supposed to be helping. And so sometimes there are people in your life who are in that season and that can disrupt your spirit and and hurt and and hurt your purpose. So you have to look at readjusting or recalibrating or repositioning your interactions with them to be able to be maybe a lot lo- more loving from a distance, praying for the person, checking in with them, being there to help them. But it may not be someone that you have uh, a lot of intimate interaction with because of the season they are in. Um, another reason to recalibrate a friendship is because they were in the wrong position in your life in the first place. And Sometimes you discover this when you are in situation number one, where your season is changing and you're changing and you're growing and you're becoming. And you recognize, you see things in a friend and you realize, hmm, like maybe you're, you're, you're a good friend, a good person, and you help me and you are somebody I can learn a lot from, but I could have brought you a little bit too close in the first place. And the, and so there are times when in situation one and two, your season or their season, you recognize things in them that make you also realize that they weren't necessarily ever supposed to be in that position in your life. Or it could be just uh, comments made, actions, like we're always observing, like, and as you start to see more, learn more about a person, um, learn more about like why their attitude and message is their attitude and message if they were ever positioned correctly. And sometimes you just learn that you've um, had made an error in bringing in certain people so close to you in the first place. And it's time to recalibrate and reposition that person's in your life, in that voice in your life, that influence in your life. And number four, sorry, my computer is just going off. Um, and so then the last one is regular self-reflection and regular evaluation. I believe that we should always be self-reflecting on ourselves, how we're showing up um, and evaluating ourselves as well as people around us. How are How is that person making an impact on you? What is their impact and what is their influence in your life? You have to look at those things regularly so that you can recalibrate and make sure that along the way you have people in the right position. And what I do sometimes now I'm learning is when I talk to someone or when I interact with someone, how do I feel after that interaction? Do I feel lifted up? Do I feel like I was um, supported? Do I feel like that even if that person has to correct me, because I'm not saying that we don't need correction from the people close to us sometimes, but when I'm corrected, do I feel like I was corrected with love and I feel good about things being brought to my attention? Or do I feel like um, that person is trying to bring me shame, fear, doubt, Um, things that I have to work through and fight on a daily basis already anyway, so don't need anyone putting that on me. How do you feel after interacting with people in your life? Pay attention to that and look for the pattern because people are people, right? 
Just like you don't always are not always on your best A game. And sometimes you could say some out the way stuff to somebody because you're having a bad day or something got bad news or something like that. And you have to evaluate your own interaction with people. And if you might need to, you know, apologize for something you said or look at how your what your motivation was. But if you have people in your life who do that often, but not the apologizing part, but maybe have uh, interactions with you that you don't feel good about after and it's, ha- and it's happening consistently and they never take accountability, even if sometimes you kind of know they know they're doing it, but they never take any type of accountability or come to you and say, hey, the way I said this, uh, this uh, statement, it might have came out wrong because I just was like having a rough day and I rushed and said it in a different way than I meant it. Or if they never take responsibility for how they're interacting with you and they're just, you just consistently having these icky feelings around them or after, that might be somebody that's time to reposition in your life. And so that's a way that you can kind of consistently uh, assess and reassess people in your life. So those are the four um, times to recalibrate, adjust, reposition people um, who are in your life and where they are and how they are in your life. And I hope this helps and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye.